Bar. I'm here with Albert, the owner of Bull and Swine. How you doing, Graham? I'm doing great. I'm here at a Yelp Alina event, and uh, let me tell you, this guy knows what he's doing. He started at, where, did he, where was the first restaurant? So I own OK Bin down the street. We opened in 2013, and uh, yeah, we're coming up on our five-year anniversary this year. And now Bull and Swine's been open since when? Uh, since June of 2016, so we're at about 18, 19 months. So how'd you make the move from OK Bin to Bull and Swine? So what we did is, is uh, like I said before, uh, I'm a man of New Haven, and I love East Rock and State Street. Um, Old Haven's been around since 2013, so I kind of got the inside scoop that this building was coming available. All the reclaimed natural wood, it just lent itself to barbecue. I've always wanted to do it. Barbecue's about love and putting, you know, your time and effort into the meat. So, you know, it just kind of talks to me. So this building and my craft, and it just kind of all worked out. So take a look at this building. We got old wood, we've got old brick, and the most important part, a nice selection of whiskeys and bourbons here. That's now, correct. All right, so let's move from the place to the food. Sure. Talking about the barbecue now, I've got a nice little smorgasbord of stuff going on here. We've got brisket, we've got pulled pork, we've got collard greens, mac and cheese, everything you make here. That's correct, everything's made from scratch. Now, you said you had like a motto for your food. So everything here is authentic. So we pull from the best parts of the country, whether it's Texas brisket, or Carolina shoulder, um, or Memphis style ribs that aren't pictured here right now, but everything we do here is from the heart and it's authentic. So everything is dry rubs. And what we do is, is all the sauces are on the side. So you want to, that's correct. Now you, you've got your, your standard uh, Kansas City, which is a little on the sweeter side. Correct. You've got your Carolina, which is going to be more uh, vinegar. Now you have a you have a uh, New Haven sauce. That's correct. So What's that's, a New Haven sauce? So our New Haven sauce is uh, unique to us, obviously. So um, we're all about New Haven, right? Right. So we put Fox and Park Birch beer in it. So it's a little bit tangy and a little right. bit uh, a little bit spicy. So it's perfect for bread. And, uh, you know, being from New Haven, we thought we would put something together that, you know, did the town justice, and it just kind of, it came to fruition. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, the, the New Haven sauce, absolutely something you gotta try. It's unlike, you know, some of the Northeast sauces that have a lot of tomato and molasses. Not quite that. Also, I mean, if you like the, the vinegar and the mustard, they have that sauce here, but it's a little something different. Now, the last thing I want to talk about here, oh, by the way, the barbecue is awesome. Um, I was here yesterday. I got their wings, big, thick, meaty. They were they were smoked first. Exactly, they smoked for three hours before they're flash fried and then tossed. And not battered flash fried, just deep fried. Big, lots of meat on each of the wings. Um, I was able to eat 34, 34 in five minutes. This guy 30, knows 34 what he's doing. in five minutes. They have a great eating con uh, contest. You got to come back in and try this. So the last thing I want to talk about is your cocktails, sure. because you got it when you got whiskey, when you got bourbon. You got barbecue, you need cocktails. Exactly. But you do something a little different. You do nitro cocktails. That's right. So let's take a look at the nitro cocktails here. All right, what do, what do we got on tap? So what we have on tap is nine cocktails. Um, we have a mango fresco, which is an ode to a Mexican fresh cocktail. We obviously have a Bloody Mary on draft for barbecue. Our kind of um, signature drink, which is the Bowl and Swine Bourbon Sweet Tea. We do a pomegranate mojito. There it is right there. So tell me a little bit about the bourbon sweet tea, because this isn't just tea and bourbon. That's correct. So the South is about sweet tea. So what we do is, is we start with a, a classic bourbon, say Jim Beam. Yep. I make my own tea. We steep organic black tea leaves. Also put organic um, local honey, actually. Lemon juice. And then I also use a product called Deep Eddy Sweet Tea. Their products are all natural. They're all so made with real tea. So we put all that in a mason jar. Top it with a club soda with a lemon wheel. It's just clean, crisp, and perfect pairing for barbecue. Excellent. So, but all these are on tap. They're all on tap. That's Why right. do you have you your cocktails on tap? Tell me about that. So everything is nitro based. So barbecue comes up quick. All of the work is done the night before. Right. So in order for us to get the drinks out faster, we put them in 9 liter or 18 liter kegs, just like beer. And it's pushed through a line with nitrogen, so it's not carbonated, it comes out still. And the flavor is there, the speed is there, and the consistency is there. So anybody can be behind the bar. I can be behind the bar at Horn Cocktails, and it's your creation, it's your skill that is behind the mixology. Exactly. Graham, you can be behind here, and they would think that Al the mixologist. <laughs> so 
So, you know, that's, that's the whole motto behind here is consistency and uh, efficiency to get it out there quick. And uh, like I said before to this group, um, I think we're one of the very few bars that actually do nitro draft cocktails. And it's just a really cool thing that people like to enjoy. Actually, well, I got to tell you, if you want good barbecue in New Haven, you got to come here. If you want great cocktails in New Haven, you got to come here. Or, you know, both you have a choice. Or if you're at any brewery, you have a food truck. That is correct. We also have a mobile smoker. Um, it's a competition, reverse mobile smoker. We are at Stone. Tony Creek, Counterweight, we go to uh, New England Brewing, No Worries Brewing right up the street, basically anywhere in a 20 to 30 mile radius. Awesome. Well, this event has been awesome. You have been a phenomenal host. Thank you, sir. And I cannot wait to come back. Awesome. Thank you, Graham. See you guys next time. Like, follow, subscribe.